Hey folks, I want to show you how to get started with Google Maps here. It's really a pretty neat little tool. Alright, so what I've found is if you're in your Gmail, you're in your Google Drive, you're always going to have this little nine square, I call it, because there's nine little dots that make a square. And it gives you your G, your Google Plus, uh, your Gmail, all that, but there's Maps. And if it doesn't show up in this cluster of icons or apps, you can usually go to More and it will be in that second set. You could also do a search for Google Maps. All right, so to find to start your own, I found if you click here in the search box, it'll give you My Maps. And if you click on My Maps, it'll give you the option to create. So good, you can create one, and you know, just kind of play around with one first. I've got some here that I've made, or some people have shared with me that I'm going to go to. Uh, this one right here, Kennebec Skyway in the Popham. What this one does is it shows how easily trash gets from a town that's in the interior of a state and using a river, trash gets right in there. So it goes back to our gyres project that we did near the beginning of the class. And what I have here is Skywigan, this is where it starts. I've drawn a line and I'm going to add another place mark at the bottom. So what I need to do to edit though is I need to open my original map. So I'll do that. Things will look a little differently, but this is where you'll be able to edit it and see the contents of those place marks. So let me see what I've done so far. I've got Skywalkigan in the Kennebec. I've added a picture. I've got a little bit of information here. And after I've read that, I can close it. I can use the hand here. If you look, you got the hand tool. This is to add a marker or a place mark. You can add different sorts of lines. If you need to get directions or add directions, you can do that. And this measures. All right, so I'm going to pull this down. You can also zoom in and out a little bit because I've got quite a line here. And we're going to add a place mark down here for Fort Popham. So I'll add my marker, my place marker. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to call it Fort Popham. Right, and in the description, I am going to write, this is where the Kennebec River flows into the Atlantic Ocean. All right, and over on the side, you're going to see a little camera. And from that, you've got some options. You can do an image search from Google. Uh, maybe if you already have an image URL you want, you could go there and put it in. You could also do a video search, or if there's a YouTube URL that you already have, you could paste that in there. I'm going to do, a, give, do an image search here and put in Fort Popham, Maine. And it's going to generate some pictures. And I want some that kind of show the water. So I'm just going to try this one. I'll select that. And you can add more than one. And you can also delete them if you decide later you don't want one. Um, go through, maybe find this one right here and select. So you can keep doing that. And you could have you know, a nice little group of pictures there to show the area that you're, you're talking about. All right, and maybe I should just do one more for like what Popham looks like. How about this one with the boat in the background? All right, so I saved it. There it is. Right now, if you notice on Skyway and Kennebec, I've got a little tree. On this one, I want to doctor that one up a little bit too. Okay, so I'm going to, you can choose a color and one of these shapes, or you can go to more icons. And Fort Popham is a fort, so, you know, take your time, scroll through these, find one you like. I'm looking for, oh, I'm going to use this one. And I'll put OK. And I'll close that. Also, if I look at this, uh, whoops, sorry. If I go to individual styles, 
What I've done is I've set that. You can also do uniform ones. That would change them to look all the same. Uh, the sequence of color and letters will use different colors, but it will start with A, B, C, D. Individual will let you custom each one. Okay, then when you get to style by data column, you can do my name, which is what I've done, or it'll start with a description. So it actually start in this case is this is where. All right, so I've got name there. Yours will probably start without anything there, but if you do this right here and then you set the labels to name, or like it would start with no, but I really like to have the name showing up there. Oops, I just missed it. That labels. Okay, so styled my name, the labels that you would like to have my name or description. And they come right up. And if I look over here, Fort Popham is now, oh, my styles all went. I would like to have them individual styles. There we go. Sorry, got mixed up there for a minute. <clears throat> All right, and so I've got Skywagon first, and then I've got the river, and then Fort Popham. If you need to, you can take and move these around. All right, so if I close that, I can either view this by clicking in the items in the sidebar here. This will give it a little tour. Right, the other way to look at it is right with the icons right on the screen. Click right on it, place marks come right up. You can drag. Same thing. If you want to, you can again drag it around, zoom in. And click. All right, so couple of ways to see the tour. Lots of good stuff here. Go ahead and start making your own and have a good time. Good luck.